Okay, so today we are doing adding and subtracting decimals. Now, I am not going to go through how you add or subtract decimals just as decimals. Okay, because we all have a calculator now and you can add as many decimals as you like on there, you can subtract your decimals on there, and I'm not going to worry about going through how to do it without a calculator. Okay, so we're going to just use the calculator for all our decimal work. What you do need to do though, is you must do your working before you get your answer. So if there's something that you're going to put type in on your calculator, you don't type anything in unless you have a working line down first to say what you're about to type in. Okay, that's how working goes. All right, so let's have a look at this first question. So it says, an electrician needed these lengths of cable to complete a wiring job. He needs 12.3 metres. All right, he might have been running a cable from a light switch to where the power comes from. 4.8 metres, that might have been another part that needed to be done for the TV aerial. 18.7 metres, that might have been to run from a light switch to, a, to the thing as well. So there's all these different amounts of cable, and you've seen electrical cable. Okay, if you've ever had an electrician in your place, you would have seen it's very thin wire. That's what they need. Okay, it's, it's covered by something called a conduit, so that, you know, the wires aren't exposed. All right, they need that cable. Okay, so... All of these amounts, if you look at them, they're all in metres, all of them. And all of this needs to be done to do the wiring in this place. So, the first question says, how many metres, and notice they are all in metres, how many metres of cable did the electrician use for this job? So, all you have to do is add all of these up. So, I don't want you going straight to your calculator. You need to write down what you're adding up. So we're going to write 12.3 plus 4.8 plus 18.7 plus 7.98 plus 13.65 plus 23.6. Now you'll notice I ran out of room. I just kept writing on the next line. That's fine. Then you're going to write an equal sign. So because we have calculators, you don't need to write your adding up your decimals down the page. You can just write them across like I've done there. And now we're going to the calculator. So you're going to start typing this in. That's your working line. Now you can type it in. Okay, so we have 12.3 plus 4.8 plus 18.7 plus 7.98 plus 13.65 plus 23.6. And you won't have it all fitting on. You can only really see the last few things you've done. That's what the arrow there is for on the screen. It says there's more stuff on that side, but that's okay. You can see the last bit I typed in. Press equals, 81.03. So we're gonna write down our answer, 81.03. And all of them were in meters, so our answer is in meters, and that's the end of the question. So the next question says, if the full spool of cable was 100 meters long, now, some of you are going to look at it and go, I don't know what a spool is. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect what the question is asking for, but I'll explain what a spool is in a minute. If the full spool of cable was 100 metres long, how many metres of cable were left? So the really important thing with these word problems is you identify key words that are going to help you. All right, so they're asking for how many metres? Well, that's fine because everything's been in metres, so we don't have a problem with that. Of cable were left. Now, when they ask for left, how much was left? There's going to be a subtraction. Okay, so that's a little hint that you are going to subtract. So anything I do here, you should have in your workbook. Okay, what I, whatever I'm doing in red here, you should have in red pen on your workbook. So the word left tells you you're going to be subtracting. So I'll read it again. If the full spool of cable was 100 metres long, how many metres of cable were left on the spool after the electrician completed the job? So what you've got is 100 metres to begin with. He's come to the job with 100 metres, ready to go. We're going to take off what he used. He used 
1.03 metres. So we're going to take that off and whatever's left is what's left. So now you can go to your calculator and type that in. And if you do that, you should end up with 18.97. And then you're going to write metres on the end and that's it finished. Now what a spool is, just for those of you who are curious, it's one of those things that looks a little bit like this. And we have our wire just spinning around it, okay? So it's a cylinder, really, and it's all wound around the cable. So the electrician turns up, he drags it out, starts pulling it out, and he takes out whatever length he wants. So he would pull it out, cut off 12.3 metres and do the first part of the job. Then he'd pull it out a bit further, cut off 4.8 metres and do that part of the job. And that's the way it works, okay? So, we've done that question, let's look at the next one. Right, the next question. We have five runners in the school's 100 metre race. We've all been in your school athletics carnival. This 100 metre race, the times for the runners were 13.5 seconds. The S stands for seconds. It's an official abbreviation for seconds. 13.81 seconds, 12.7 seconds. 14.62 seconds, 12.45 seconds. In this question, they say place these times in order. So we are going to be ordering these. And we've done this before. From fastest to slowest. Now this bit sometimes gets people in a test. Think about it before you start. Now firstly, we're going to put them like we normally do when we're ordering things. We're going to put all these decimals down the page. Notice I've left some space on the left and the right because I don't know with the others whether I need room on the left or the right. Next one, we have the decimal point underneath. 13 goes in front, 8, 1. So it's 8 and then another digit over here for the 1. 12.7, put the decimal point underneath. 7 will just go in that first space. Point underneath, 14.62. Six goes there, two goes over there under that one. 12.45, 12 goes there, four, five. And remember I told you last time, you need to put red zeros in to fill the gaps. So there they are. Now, we're gonna put them in order. Now it has to be fastest to slowest. Now if you think about it, the person who runs the race the fastest gets there quicker. So he's there in a shorter amount of time. So what's the shortest amount of time we have here? It's the 12, oh, hang on. It's one of these 12s, isn't it? Who won? Who was the fastest? This one here, right? That one is faster than that one. So they both had a 12, but this is where they differed. This person did it in a quicker time, didn't they? All right, that's a smaller number, four than seven. They got there faster. So they're number one. But this person wasn't far behind in number two. He came second, or she came second. You'll find their girls in a minute. All right, then we've got our 213 numbers. Which one of those is quicker? What's the lowest out of those? Well, this is where they're different. Okay, so the five is smaller than the eight. So that's the next one to come. Then this one. And then this person had started with a 14, so they were slower than everybody else. They're number five. Okay, so you need to then write them down in order. So I'm going to write them down, number one first. Put S for seconds after it. Number two was this one. You don't need to put the zeros on now. The red zeros can stay off. Next one, 13.5. Number four was 13.81. And number five is 14.62. Okay, and that's the end of the question. They're all in order, fastest to slowest. Okay, now the next question up here says, what is the time difference between the fastest and slowest runners? Okay, difference. The word difference tells you you're going to subtract Right, so all these keywords, you need to learn what they mean as we're doing these questions. 
difference means you're minusing. Now, let's look. Who was fastest and who was slowest? Well, here they are. There's the fastest runner and there's the slowest runner. So we're going to subtract those. So you're going to do the bigger number minus the smaller number. So we're going to do 14.62 minus 12.45 equals. Now you can go to your calculator because you've done your working line. Do not press anything into your calculator if it's not already written down. Right, so now mine's written down. Over there, I can type it in. 14.62 minus 12.45. Right, now I can press equals 2.17. And that's the difference in seconds between the fastest and slowest runners. Now, these questions are getting harder. So you really got to think about these. All right? So don't just go diving and go, I better do something with that 0 0.3, I'll just do this. Think about it. If the runner in second place, okay, so who are we talking about here? This is the person we're talking about. That's the person who came second. If that runner had run 0.3 seconds faster, all right, so let's take that second place runner, 12.7. Now, if they ran 0.3 seconds faster, that means we're going to subtract 0.3 seconds from their time. You can use your calculator for that and you'll get 12.4 seconds. Right, so if that's what happens, the second runner does 12.4 seconds, would she win the race? Well, now let's have a look. That's the time of the first place. Is that quicker? What do you think? I'll write them down underneath each other and you can have a think about it. So we've got the other one was 12.4. I might just move that seconds at the moment just so we're not looking at that. 12.45. Now remember what we do if there's a missing number, we put a zero there. Let's compare these. Who's quicker? Who's faster? Who's got the lower decimal out of those two? Is it this one here? Or is it this one here? That one is definitely the winner. So yes, she would have won the race. Okay, so we're going to say, it says explain your answer. So we're going to explain our answer as well. So we're going to go, yes, she would have run the race. Because, now, when you're doing an explanation in maths, it's really important that you're working this there. All right, it's very hard to just rave on with words and not have any working. That's why I've done this. And you can see me trying to compare this. All right, that's why I've written them above each other so you can see. And then I've decided, yep, that's the winner. Okay, so now you can say because 12.4 is lower, is smaller than 12.45. And you might just write seconds there as well. Okay, but without the working, very difficult to give a reason and explain it properly. Okay, let's look at the next question. We have a block of wood. It's 11.27 centimetres thick. Right, so let's just do a drawing. If you don't understand a question, do a drawing. Okay, so here's your block of wood. And that's the thickness and it's 11.27 centimetres. Okay, now, if that's how thick it is, and then we are going to shave some off it. All right, so I'm going to shave 0.34 centimetres off one end. So up here, I'm going to shave off this bit. And that bit is, I'll just write it up here, 0 0.34 centimetres. Then I'm going to shave some off the other side. 0 0.55 centimetres. Shave a bit off. That thickness there, 0 0.55 centimetres. So now the question wants to know how thick is the block of wood now after you've shaved those things off? 
All right, so what's our working here? Our working is going to be to start with the thickness that it was, which was 11.27. Now, we're going to shave something off, so we're subtracting. We're going to subtract 0 0.34. And then we're going to shave another bit off, which is 0 0.55. We're going to subtract that. And now I'm going to go to my calculator. So we're going to go to the calculator, type in exactly what I've done there, 11. 0.27 minus 0.34 oops start that again minus 0.34 minus 0.55 right now I press equals 10.38 is my answer write it down now write centimeters on the end because they're the units now that's the answer to the question what I don't want you to do is think that you don't have a calculator, okay? We do have a calculator. So it's really easy for me to just do 11.27, take away the first bit I shaved off, take away the second bit I shaved off and get my answer, okay? When you don't have a calculator, you would probably add the two bits together that you're cutting off and then take that off the 11.27 centimetres. But we don't need to do that. Okay, so I'm trying to get you out of the habit of doing things when you didn't have a calculator and put you into when we do have one. All right, so have a little go at some of these later. We've got one more video coming up to show some more word problems with multiplying decimals, and then you can practice your homework after that.